In this Blender tutorial, you will learn how to add inverse kinematics to your character. We will add inverse kinematics to its legs, to its arms, add pull targets, and let them do the dance of its people. Also create a root bone so you can move your character entirely and have him animated just like you want. I will also do some troubleshooting as well. And I'll show you how to do weight painting in this mode as well. You can create a rig of your own, but what I like to do is use rig of Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and look for a Rigify, and make sure this is enabled. Then, into Object Mode, go Shift-A, Armature. Now, this is if you're going to create one of your own, and you can create a human from the meta rig. Let's hide this one first. Now, you see this one has a lot of face bones and hand bones, but my character is just more simple. So you can use this one, but what I'm going to do, make sure a number two one front view, shift A, then go to armature, basic, and I'm going to use the basic human. Then S to scale it down, just like this, and make sure you go here, viewport display, and you see your bones in front, so you can look at your character. When you have done that, make sure you apply your skill, because right now, you can see this is all messed up, and this will give errors later on. So, what we're going to do is with my character, Ctrl A, apply scale, and also with my rig, Ctrl A and scale. And right now, you can see this is all back to 1, which is what I want. Okay, great. Let's select the rig and go into edit mode. There are not every bone we are going to need, so for example, these two, X and delete the bones, and then also here at the heel, we don't need these as well, X and delete these bones. And now we need to align the bones to the body. Now, because I'm pretty lazy, I chose this rig and we can make it even more easy by mirroring. So you can see whatever I do here on the left happens on the right of the character also. Okay, nice. Now select your bones and put them into position with G or maybe R to rotate. I like G and put them into place of the character. Okay, let's GZ to put his pelvis down a bit. Okay, this is good. G, move this one with GX, for example. Okay, now you're not finished because when you look for it from the side, it is not inside. So you want to fix this. Okay, have this point selected with three on your numpad, side view. GY, also here, this bone, GY, GY here on the hand. Same for the knee. GY and then he can come a little bit more forward like this and then he'll GY GY and then G Okay, let's look it back from the front with one numpad, three and also from the top, seven on the numpad and with middle mouse just look around and make sure this is in your body A tip that I can give you is to fit your spine like it is within your own body so make it as accurate as possible. Okay, now this is pretty good. So what we're now going to do is to add new bones for the inverse kinematics. So I like to go into side view. And first one we're going to make here, have this one selected and it's E to extrude and then Y to extrude it on the Y axis. Okay. And let's click this one, hit F2 to rename the bone. And let's name this IK for inverse kinematics. And then you're going to name this, for example, heel.l. Because here we are on the left side of the character. Also here, f2, ik, heel.r. Because this is the right of the character. Then select these and then hit alt p. Because we need to clear the parents. So they are not attached to the actual rig. And this is what we want. So don't forget this one. Okay, we're going to do the same here at the knee. E, Y, to extrude on the Y axis. And then hit this one, F2, I, K, N, e, dot L. Now these naming conventions will be handy later on. At this one dot R, okay. Alt, P, and clear parent. And then G, Y, and put them in front. Not close in front, but far in front, because this one will be your controller. And this one will pull the knee in that direction. So if the knee comes forward of this, then it doesn't know what to do or it moves wrongly. Okay, so you do have these ones. What you now can do is go to post mode. 
And now you can see your bones are blue, so we are in post mode right now. Have this one selected and then go to here, go to add bone constraint and choose inverse kinematics. And you can see this shin gets another color. Now we're going to get the target, namely our rig. Also the pole target is from our rig and we're going to choose the bones. If you don't remember the name of the bones, select this one and you can see ikheal.l for example. This is the bone we are going to use, so type ikheal.l. And for the pole target, so which direction we pull in is the pole target, was ikne.l. So ikne.l. Okay, you can see this is already messed up. So what we're going to do is set the chain length to 2. So two bones will be affected by this and the pole angle changes to minus 90. And now you will see we have inverse kinematics already. And when you move this one, by the way, I right click to undo that, or Alt-G with your uh, bone selected, or Alt-R to reset its location and rotation, it is already working. Now we need to do the same on the other side. So you see, this is very achievable and not that hard to do. So once again, it's good practice. Select this one, go here at Bone Constraint, Inverse Kinematics, target your rig, the bone right here, ikne.r so ik i mean uh, heal because this is uh, the heal we are going to use but dot r and then for the bone here ik and this time it's knee.r and then change the pole angle to minus 90 chain length to 2 and right now yes this is also working pretty nice okay great so this wasn't that hard to do. Let's also do this for the arms as well. I like to start in side view number three. This is also the left side of my character. So let's make one for the hand. So select this one, go to edit mode first. Okay, have this one select. E to extrude Y on the Y axis. Click this one, F2 to rename this. For example, IK hand.l. And on this one, also create F2, but ikhand.r. And we also need a pull target, but this is not in front, but on the back. So, E to extrude, Y. Let's select this one, F2. Let's name this one elbow, oh, ik, elbow.l. I copy this, and then select this one, ikhand.r. And then also, what you're going to do with this one, these two, Alt-B to clear the parent, but leave this in position. And these ones, Alt-B, oh wait, wait for we are in side view once again, Alt-B, clear parent, but then G, Y to move them back on the Y axis, far enough. So now we are going to set inverse kinematics to this one as well. Have this selected, go to post mode. And then add a bone constraint, and it will be the same thing. Inverse kinematics. The target will be the rig once again. Also, the pole target will be of this rig. And the bone this time that we are going to use is when you click this one, IK hand. So, IK hand dot L. We are starting on the left side first. And the bone that's pulling this is here, IK elbow dot L. So we have this selected, ikelbow.l. And you can see this already messed up. Pole angle, minus 90, chain length back to two. And right now, okay, you have inverse kinematics here as well. And you can see what happens when we move this as well. Okay, nice. Let's also do this for the right side. Once again, here, add bone constraint, inverse kinematics, target your rig, target your rig once again the bone ik hand.r and the pull target where it's pulling towards is ik and then elbow.r pole angle minus 90 chain length 2 and let's have a look at this okay nice here this is working this is working okay but this is the root so now you can see the hands and feet are in position. 
So if what we can also do is create a new bone back into edit mode. I'm in front view. And what I can do now is shift A and that will create another bone. Let's scale it down a bit. Or GZ. And let's connect this one up with the inverse kinematics and this root. So select the eight inverse kinematics bones, which shift click. And also this middle bone of the pelvis right here. And then lastly, shift select on this one, hit control P, but keep offset. And I now go back to post mode. You can see I can move this entirely, or I can use just these ones. Or just stands like this. And if I want, I can move my entire character like this. Okay, this is all set up fine right now. Go back to object mode. What you're now going to do is to parent the mesh to the bones. So select your mesh first, then shift click on the bones, hit Ctrl P and parent with automatic weights. Okay, now select your bones and go into post mode. Because right now our mesh should move along. So let's test this out. Okay, this is already pretty good. You can move around with G or R to rotate. Let him do the dance of his people. Okay, nice. Now you have the inverse kinematics and a rig working towards your mesh right now. But a little troubleshooting. Let's say your mesh disforms or you have some problem uh, with a uh, mesh that comes loose of this. You can just go into weight painting. How you do that is when you select your bones, shift click on your mesh. Then you should see weight paint. And now when I hold control and click on a bone, you can see the influence that the bone has on that part of the body. So let's say there's an error. When you move this bone, the head moves. So let's make this for example. What you can then do is set the weight to zero. Make sure this is all blue again so it has no influence. And weight back to all one to color in where you want influence. Okay. And then you can go back to object mode. Have your bone selected back into pose mode. And you can animate again and let them do the dance of his people. So you can see it's not that hard to add inverse kinematics with a little bit of practice and these tips you will get pretty far. So have fun animating your newly erect character with inverse kinematics. Spend all